Here are my 10 tips for successful electromagnet investigations. Make sure that your power supply can deliver at least 5 amps. Any of these will do, but the first four will have to be turned down to 2 volts, and you'll have to hope the students don't turn them up. This last one is ideal because it is a fixed low voltage and designed to give a large current. You want to avoid power supplies like this, which can't deliver enough current. Secondly, choose a suitable core. The C core from a transformer kit or a soft iron core are ideal, but if you don't have either of those, you can use a large blunt iron nail, but unfortunately they retain some permanent magnetism even when they're switched off. But they do still work quite well, lifting up a lot more when they're turned on. Thirdly, it's easiest to investigate how the number of turns affects the strength. It's best to start with the maximum turns you're going to use, and then you can increase the potential difference of the power supply if you're not picking up enough paper clips. Fourthly, if you still can't pick up many paper clips, then consider using staples instead, which are much smaller, so you can pick up more. Fifthly, explain to students the routine. Turn on the electromagnet, pick up as many paper clips as you can, move to a clear area of the table, switch off the power supply, and then count up the paper clips. This avoids the electromagnet being on for long and means that the coil won't overheat. Number six, don't use single solid core wire like this one. Instead, use multi-strand wire, which is much more flexible and less likely to snap. Number seven, if you have a power supply that you can attach the wires to directly, then do that because you're much less likely to get a short circuit. Number eight, if you do have to use crocodile clips and connecting wires to join them on, then be careful to check that students don't crocodile clip onto the insulation, and then of course it won't work. And secondly, make sure the students know to be careful not to short circuit between the crocodile clips. Number nine, to avoid a mess of wire like this, give the students a piece of cardboard to store their wire around. And finally, number 10, give each group a little pot of paper clips for easy distribution. 